<laughs> Did you miss us? It's been a while. It's been a hot second. We've been kind of busy, but we're so excited to be updating you. What do you think? What's been going on? Well, the tea. it's been a crazy start of the year. Uh, so we're getting to the end of my second semester here. Um, and for really the whole of the last year, um, Brian Croft, who leads the Mathena Center, which is the church revitalization group that I've been a part of for this last year. Um, he has been really pouring into me and mentoring me. And um, his church was a church revitalization. And um, he offered, and his church offered, uh, for me to come and uh, plug in there and so we are uh, joining that church I'll be coming on as a unpaid staff a pastoral assistant to the pastor something like that and um, just serving in whatever ways we can Brian's been a real friend and mentor and we're looking forward to um, just kind of continuing to build and we were so thankful for the church that God provided for us when we first got here yeah. Um, and we really feel like this is God providing in another way of furthering David's education and ability to learn from Brian Croft in church revitalization. There's so much we can learn from their church and what they're doing and how it could translate to Palm Vista um, and, and Miami yeah. at large. There's so much church revitalization happening in Miami, ways that we can support and love on other churches even. And um, it's been great yeah. already and we're excited for how God's continuing to teach us and train us. And, and kind of funny story, um, Brian Croft, who is the pastor at Avondale Baptist Church, um, his daughter is turning 15. Oh, yeah. She has um, a lot of friends who are Hispanic. She's actually been to a lot of quinceañeras. And so when we met her, we were starting to speak to her in Spanish. And somehow in like a week, we've managed to try and put together a quinceañera for her. So I think it's going to be really fun. I'll try to get some pictures and videos, but it's just kind of crazy that we're here in Kentucky and we're going to be having a quinceanera in our garage. Something I wanted to share about was just some medical updates. Some of you know this, but we um, haven't really shared it on the vlog. Basically, when we got to Kentucky, I saw um, a doctor here and got some blood work done and just gotten some high um, blood levels and possibilities of like autoimmune disorders and stuff like that. And we just didn't want to share this right away because there were so many questions and tests and MRIs and stuff that was just like kind of scary. And I didn't want everyone to be there just holding their breath. And so no, like nothing crazy, but we needed to rule all those things out before we could kind of take the next step and really trying to figure out what's going on with my body. So um, that's another reason why some of these vlogs uh, haven't been as consistent. There's been so much medical stuff happening these last couple months and it's just taken a toll on my body. And so it's been a lot more um, stress physically and emotionally. We also see just God's kindness and the timing that all this has come to light, um, where we have really good insurance right now. And, and that hasn't been the case um, for a while and it may not be the case for a while. So. The fact that we could do some of these tests and just look into some things that maybe before we would have just dismissed um, has really been uh, a blessing from the Lord and unexpected during this season. Um, Olivia did end up getting tubes in her ears. I think we talked about that a little bit at our last update. It has really helped with her ear infections. She hasn't had any ear infections since getting the tubes. And she had like four or five in our first six months here. Yeah. So that's been such a relief. It seems like the allergies are are significantly better for our kids. We've had a couple of visitors come up from South Florida. The, mm -hmm. the Gonzalez's came up, uh, her parents, Melinda's parents came up. Yeah, and we've so. got we've got two trips planned. You're gonna go down pretty soon and then we're gonna come down as a family later in the summer. You wanna share a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'm gonna be, uh, most of you guys know I think by now, but I'm gonna be in Miami over Easter weekend. So I'll be there. Friday through Sunday, just a couple days. And then we'll be down at the end of July. So I think it's like 16th or something through the 20 somethings. We'll be actually driving down as a whole family and staying for over a week. And I think the last thing is just that spring is here. Like, it's beautiful outside. It was in the 70s today. I left this morning and there were bare trees. And I was gone most of the day. We had classes, we had testing. I got back in the afternoon and there were trees with leaves on them. Like in <laughs> hours, no matter, I just couldn't even believe it. It's pretty it was cool. a different neighborhood coming home from leaving in the morning. So a couple ways you guys could be praying for us. Uh, finals are coming up in the next couple weeks. I've got like 70 papers to write and <laughs> thousands of pages to read. Aww. You know, the end of the semester is always just a really intense season, so. Uh, just be praying for us as we as we uh, 
kind of push through here. I feel like this semester is like way more intense with finals. Yeah, no. Yeah, and some of the classes I'm taking, yeah. Same. It's just, I don't know why, yeah, it feels really, really intense this semester. And I'm also taking two re like really intense classes with seminary wives. Don't make fun of me. No, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just like, I, is, you're doing a lot. I'm it's taking just, a public speaking class, so I have yeah. to like read books and then write speeches and then practice the speeches and then time the speeches and then give the speeches. Melinda also started a book club. I also started a book club, so I'm reading books. And like an intense book club. Like, you know, it's Melinda, so it's not just like we'll read, you know, a small book every no. two months. Like, no, she's reading like... Pride and Prejudice in a week. We're not reading know? Pride and Prejudice. We're reading Great Expectations. Thank you, Charles Dickens. Mm -hmm. But, and then I'm <laughs> taking this inductive Bible study, which I wanted to quit this week because... <sighs> Anyways. Don't, don't say that. It's anyway. just been a lot more intense academically this semester, and I don't know why, but now getting to the end, I feel like both of us are just like kind of hit our limit already, and finals isn't even until like three weeks. <laughs> So we would love prayer for more capacity up here and I don't know, somehow get more sleep or something. Just figure out how to balance it all well. Yeah. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your texts and your love and your support. And for all of our local friends who are like randomly watching this vlog because you saw the link on Facebook or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for loving us and like putting up with us here in Kentucky and being just awesome and <laughs> anyways. We do. I mean, God is really taking good care of us. We feel really loved. We have a great community here. We love you guys. Happy spring! Happy Yay. spring! Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>in the church this morning and it is snowing it's snowing like crazy so crazy just walk outside and be like oh yeah grab the umbrella it's uh it's snowing hard outside good morning so i thought it'd be really fun to do a day in the life video because i haven't really recorded much this week <laughs> Pretty much because every day looks the same. Um, slight variations, but mostly just doing school and chores. So I thought it'd be fun for you to see a day in our life. 6.30 in the morning and 
there's no Olivia. This is not normally the case. She normally sleeps until like 7.30 or 8, but she's getting tubes in her ears this morning. Uh, we woke up at about 5.30 to get Olivia ready. She was out the door by about 6 o'clock with David, heading to get tubes in her ears, and I'm about to work out. I just finished my workout and I usually work out in the garage, but today I worked out in the living room because it is snowing outside. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have breakfast right now and get started with our school. Olivia just got home. How are you doing? How did you do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, don't look like me like that. Guys, give her, give hey, her Anna, a little bit of room. It's 9.30. This is what our table usually looks like. It's a mess, a lot of orange peels. Mary, what are you about to do right now? I'm about to do math. How are you feeling? I good. You're good? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just wanted to be with mommy? Yeah. Okay, you can be with us. Yeah. Is, M is MJ doing her math? Yeah. What's she doing? I'm coloring. She's coloring? It is now 10.30, and it's story time with the babies. And what are we reading about, Solomon? Penguins. And how they eat. How do they eat? Do you remember? They, they grab food from the mouth, and then they suddenly go in there. Yeah, the babies eat out of the parent's mouth. Olivia, look in my mouth. Look. Ah, Do you see any good food in there? No. You want to eat it? I want to eat <laughs> You want to eat it? It's kind of yucky. Okay, it's 11.30. Is origami paper thinner than regular paper? Because I feel like it's just too bulky. It's good. I like it. You think so? Put it up next to what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> A little different. Let me see how it flies. Okay, not bad. Mary is making us lunch. Mary, you making lunch for us? Yeah. Tell Mommy, me about your lunch. Can try it. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Mary. Yeah. Whenever we go on play dates, everyone just seems to have it all together. Well, I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes. 10 minutes, five minutes, sometimes even an hour before you arrive. They go crazy and clean everything. So you have a place to put your purse when you arrive or food and so that you can actually do your boards or not slip on crayons and markers that are on the floor. Well, it is now five o'clock, so I missed a couple hours in there, but it's because we had guests over. So there were eight kids in this house, it was Pretty loud. I don't think you would have even been able to hear me talk <laughs> if I would try to record while they were here. But they just left, and then tonight we have Bible study. It's six o'clock, and we're on the road. Ooh, we just got out of class. It's about nine o'clock. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Um, so we might go to Kroger because I need some groceries. We just totally were trying to open up a different van. <laughs> we were like pulling on the doors, like, why is it opening? We're on the wrong van. Okay, goodbye. Oh, I think I heard the cantaloupes are on sale. Careful, don't throw them. Get it, get it, get it. It's a pretty good price. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay. We got a lot of ice cream. <laughs> we got five containers. We got five. It's 
Hopefully I can get some lunches made. Thought it'd be fun to kind of just show you how I pack my kids' lunches. For their veggie, I never do canned fruit, but they love these mandarin oranges. And um, so this is their fruit. And then I'll usually do some type of carb, but I made these trail mix cookies and I can't stop eating them. So <laughs> I'm giving them to the kids. Okay, so this is like my little assembly line and we get it done nice and fast. Look at how beautiful dirt. these soaps are. That one smells like dirt. I'm just gonna that touch them all. Like dirt. Like dirt. They look like loaves of bread. <laughs> they yeah, do. Delicious, that's colorful what bread. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like they were I know. <laughs> that's so pretty. Beyond me. Goodness, all of a sudden it just started snowing. Like tiny little snow balls are falling down from the sky right now. <laughs> look at that. It's not a snowflake. Look at his hair. Oh, crazy. Look at Mary, you have one in your hair. <laughs> Do Worm have a name? Yeah, Diggory. Diggory? Oh, that's a great name. Mm -hmm. What are your worms, Mary? Oh, mine are in here. So there's one right here. Is that what Olivia sounds like when you do the Who's that from?
You got it, Chloe. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! What's going on? You can't blow him out? No spinning. Wait, what does it say? Finger! Okay. Finger. Turn the page. Finger. That's an dangerous one. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. The knuckles. Uh, knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Can I turn the page? Yes. Okay, this is... Solomon Guest? I know it would be So then Annabelle's true. <laughs> What is this? What is this? A man. A man. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was pointing to his finger. I was pointing to his finger. I got his finger. But it's such a little man. <laughs> Why is his hand so big? <laughs> Alright, let's see. What did, uh, what did mommy guess? Mommy guess. That yeah. was fingers. No. I pointed to his fingers. Yeah, well. Hey, high five. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, mommy, let's see yours. <laughs>